coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good evening. A look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker shows most of the showers and thunderstorms have moved out of the Wabash Valley for now. We had a little line come through earlier this afternoon, producing some warnings across some of our Indiana counties. But right now, the only activity we're still seeing on the storm tracker is up into the northern part of Vermilion County, but that storm is below severe limits at this time. Also, some rain just north of Highway 36 in Edgar County, some lightning being detected there. And then just to the north of Greencastle up towards Roachdale, the only warning now outside our viewing area. That's going to be for parts of Montgomery and Hendricks County and also up towards Boone and Clinton County. County. So we're okay for now as we look at the Storm Team 10 storm track. We'll zoom it out a little bit though. And you can see we have more showers and thunderstorms that developed across West Central Illinois. And they're fairly stationary right now, so that's led to some flash flooding issues across the central part of the state. But with time, we're expecting this to slowly surge toward the Wabash Valley. So we're not done with shower and thunderstorm chances as we go through the evening. But if you're down to the south, getting some sunshine now and temperatures have climbed back into the lower 80s. So as we watch that line of storms out across Illinois, a severe thunderstorm watch has been issued for Effingham and Clay County until 9 o'clock central time and this area of storms could be moving into the Wabash Valley later this evening. So remain alert if you have any evening plans, but for the short term you're okay. <clears throat> now as we look at the forecast focus, it's not only today that we have the chance for storms as we go into the overnight hours, more storms are expected on Sunday and some of those storms could be on the severe side as we get into the holiday weekend. So we'll take a look at future cast through the overnight hours first. We'll talk about this round. So again, future cast showing the area clearing out as we get into the evening with that line of storms out across central Illinois. So it shows a lot of it weakening in northern areas, but we'll still have to keep an eye on any storms that come into the area. This is midnight. You can see that activity working through southern parts of the Wabash Valley. Once we get past midnight, I think a lot of the activity clears out of the area. So we get into the daytime tomorrow. We may have some clouds to start off on Saturday, but for all the Memorial Day weekend events going on, the rendezvous in Vincennes, Banks, the Wabash Festival, tomorrow does look to be a dry day. Overall, pretty pleasant with a lot of sunshine by the afternoon and a breeze coming out of the north northwest. So no issues as we get the holiday weekend started, but as we get into Saturday night, we're going to start to see cloud cover increase ahead of our next system. So that Memorial Day forecast, we've got 81 degrees tomorrow with sunshine by the afternoon. Still warm on Sunday, but showers and thunderstorms are expected over the course of the day. Maybe not a complete washout, but a day you want to pay attention to the weather. And then some lingering showers are going to be possible on Monday. Again, I don't think a washout for the holiday itself. It will be a little bit cooler, though, with temperatures in the upper 70s. So speaking of Sunday, the Storm Prediction Center already has the entire Wabash Valley in an enhanced risk for strong to severe storms. That's going to be level three out of five. And of course, we're still a few days away, so this could change. But this is what we're thinking as of now. So I'll pick Futurecast back up at six o'clock Sunday morning. A dry start to the more day, but as we get into the mid morning hours, Futurecast bringing in our first round of showers and thunderstorms as a warm front lifts across the area. So some strong storms could be possible with this round as it passes across the area. And then we catch a little bit of a break as we get into the early afternoon. Now, depending on that first round, the timing of it and how strong it is, that could impact our second round, which could bring more storms as we get into the late afternoon going into the evening hours on Sunday. And we'll have to keep showers and storms in the forecast until a cold front clears the area. And that looks to happen Sunday night going into early Monday morning. So again, I know there's a lot of outdoor activities planned this holiday weekend. If you're camping or doing anything like that, Sunday's a day you're going to want to be sure that you can get an updated forecast because things could still change as we're still a couple days out. And of course, Storm Team 10 will keep you updated. A handy tool will be the Storm Team 10 weather app as we head through the weekend. So for tonight, 64 degrees for the overnight low, breezy and mild with those showers and thunderstorms possible as we get into the late evening hours. We get into the daytime tomorrow, 81, becoming sunny with a gentle breeze out of the north northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we get into tomorrow night, 61 as those clouds start to move in ahead of that shower and thunderstorm chance as we get into Sunday. Now, once we get this system out of here, next week's looking pretty good with temperatures in the 70s next week and plenty of sunshine.